Welcome back to Primal Gaming and Primal Plays Minecraft Dungeons. Um, why I don't even have the controller plugged in, you idiot thing. So, this is a action RPG in the Minecraft universe. There's a story and stuff, but as you can see, we're in the Minecraft world, which makes it all the more exciting. So uh, this is just a brand new character. Um, there's no individual classes as such. Your equipment is what dictates your playstyle. So, right click is uh, your bow if you've got one, or if you've got arrows. Because you can always um, you, you start equipped with a bow. You uh, are only going to replace it with something better. Um, yeah, so keep killing your things. Yeah, so it's a, um, I mean, there's nothing more really to say about the actual game type. Um, I'll just, so this is just the tutorial to get you used to the playstyle. Um, uh, yeah, but, uh, the real content comes when you start to um, when you start to equip different gear. So I believe after we do this objective, we get the level. Oh no, I'm trapped. This guy is, seems to be the villain of the piece. For some reason, I don't know who he is or why he is. So yeah, I've now leveled. So that's unlocked what they call enchanting points. Just then look over here. Ha! Ah. Yeah, there's uh, chests and stuff hidden in each level. Um, I will just, because if you get, uh, each level has a random, uh, when you complete it, a random stat that if you get 100% you get better rewards, I believe. <laughs> I could be wrong, but, um, so I'm trying to get all the chests here so you, uh, you guys can see that. Um, anyway, so yes, I've got uh, a point. So now I... In each item, there's en en enhanced enchantments, um, and then um, you pick which one you want to do. So, flat increased damage, reduced damage incoming, bonus damage. Um, yeah, let's do that. Boom. So now I'll do more damage against wounded enemies. And I've now got a, uh, this is a, uh, a, an artifact, which means that you, it's, it's effectively an on use skill. So if I use this, well, you just roll over here, there you go. So, where's some of my enemies? Enemies. So, right. I activate it. And right click. And it does a big firework, which is bigger damage. Simples. So, 
So there's a lot of uh, area on the map. Um, like it, it's it's an ARPG, so it's going to be um, lots of explorey areas that may or may not have points. I mean, this is just I, mean, I can't even climb all the way up there. But um, some of them may have chests. Some of them may have nothing. It's just a matter of uh, you explore as much as you feel you want to, really. Um, there's not necessarily a... Shit, where the hell am I now? Have I trapped myself? Shit. Okay. That happened. Um, <laughs> so, um... Yeah, while, while there is secrety stuff, um, it's by no means mandatory. You were too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. So, traveling to camp. So, that's the first, that's the tutorial completed. So, there you go. Whether or not they actually are any better than others, I don't actually know. But, you get a chest at the end of every level. And this time, I got a fishing rod. So, let's have a look what this will do. So, it's, um... It's an artifact. And it pulls in the closest mob, briefly stunning. So, it's a uh, year old death grip sort of things. Um, so we don't yet have a, um, what am I going to use it on this for? No. Um, don't yet have any, uh, what do you call it? NPCs in my town, as it were. I am once again skipping cutscenes because if you want to see the cutscenes and know the story, then uh, you know what to do. By the game. Um, it is expensive. It'll be a good game for kids, that's for sure. Because um, they can play it without it being. Um, without going too much into some of the stuff, they can just really explore with it. Um, it does get harder, but um, the penalty for death isn't. I mean, uh, mean death metal. Um, uh, just playing on the normal difficulty, which is the default one you start with. Uh, we haven't yet completed it, um, and that that'll be enough for for uh, just regular gamers, regular children gamers, I should say. If you want to go further, by all means you can. Um, and speaking of death metal. Uh, this uh, video is possible entirely from him, as he was the sponsor slash slash purchaser of the game for me. Um, so thank you, Death Metal. But we're here to rescue these guys. TNT can be very dangerous. There's uh, spiders later on, and one of the early things that happened was um, I threw some TNT, started to get out of it just as the spider webbed me in the TNT zone. Which was unfortunate to say the least. So, this entire branch here looks like it may not actually be necessary to have a look at the map to press tab to access. It's just lots yeah, massive lots of dead ends. Look at that. New special armor. Shadow form. That was from a potion? So yeah, there's plenty of consumables. You've always got a potion as well. 
Let's see down here with the E key um, that you can use to heal up should you need to. What do we got here? This is a special. It's a sub zone. Level unlock creepiest crypt. So now that on the top right, you can see. To take care of some of these guys. It's real, really close, and they'll just eat me if I'm in my inventory. Okay. So this is a five. So bang, straight up upgrade. Simple, really. Same with that. And now we've got armor crew. So I just want to take these guys out so they don't eat me. So back to here so I had an enchantment on this region of sword and now that enchantment point spent I can get it back by salvaging this weapon and now I've got enchantment point back so I can then use that on another weapon to be an attack so um, this weapon now has enchant where it didn't before um, same here, I'll um blah 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 increase range and melee damage or craft a random food item when I use a potion, let's do that. Um every enchantment can really change your playstyle. Um there's enchantments that um do special things when you roll. There's those that will be a, a DPS increase or a defensive ability. Uh, so many different things, and that's what makes the game really show its um, potential. Or hopefully shows its potential TNT, very dangerous very very dangerous so you can see as I've picked it up it's got a down red arrow just telling me quite simply it's um not as good so I'll be able to, when I get a moment, I'll be able to um, just uh, solve it. So there we go, so um, that did make me exit into a different area. Um, I, I really want to go visit those areas, but I won't for, uh, for brevity's sake. So uh, yeah, we'll continue up towards our objective which is to rescue villagers. So yeah, there's um there's bosses, there's all sorts of goodies in the in the game. Uh, is it enjoyable? Yeah, it is. Um Longevity? That I'm not sure of. Um I've played about Three hours, maybe four. Yeah, creepers are a thing too, by the way. Because of course they are. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about the longevity of the game. Time will tell, really. Um. Because yeah, there is the uh, what do you call it? Uh, further difficulties above this one 
which um, are definitely worth exploring, but they only unlock after you complete the game on the base difficulty. So, since I haven't done that yet, um, I can't really tell. But, either way, it should be fun when we get there. So I think there's like eight, maybe ten, um, ten base levels. He's getting all the ten too. So yes, you can kill cows and sheep and any other critter you see along the way. Um, as we saw from the first one I killed, it did drop some um, some food. Looks like there's another mini dungeon there. So we'll do that. Um, one of my biggest issues is, um, is, uh, what do you call it, the ammo. Um, I found myself really chewing through it at times. So this is literally just a single house with no apparent use, which is, in itself, is quite peculiar. So yeah, continue along, and yeah, you'll you'll, you'll see um, all your biomes that you know and love or detest. Um, actually, I don't know if I've been into the Nether yet, but um, yeah, like uh, most of the things in the game are. Uh, stuff that you would have seen in Minecraft, and I think in that respect, it's um, really good for for for, the, for fans of Minecraft because um, yeah, you, it, you've got the whole familiarity thing going on. Discord is losing its mind, and I don't even have any channels on, so I don't know what's going on. But please excuse the Discord noises. One more. Seriously, Discord, shut up. Okay, I'm just going to pause for a moment. Yeah, Discord has been shut it up. Shut up. Shut it up. Been made to be quiet. So, last oh shit, sorry cow. Last village I rescued. Find the exit. Yeah, there. Ding! So there we go, another level, so another enchantment point. Um Obviously, the, the the more you spend, the more expensive stuff gets. So there will become a time when you've got enough to. Yeah, let me just bring it up. So as you can see down here, we're bottom left. There's I don't even know. Yeah. Stop angry at me. Okay. Um. So there's eventually three tiers of um, of uh, items. Um, until then, um, you can only spend a little bit. But now we'll chuck an enchant on the bow. Enchanting bonus damage. Ricochet. Let's go ricochet because that sounds fun. Yeah. So. Um, when you get to a significantly higher level, um, you're going to be able to get 
uh, so many more enchants, which, as I said before, will really change your gameplay. So this ricochet is doing real well, aren't I? I haven't seen a single one yet. There you go, ricochet, boom! I didn't even see it, to be honest. Escape Creeper Woods. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Didn't you know? Well, there's a lot of... A lot of scary here. Guess what, boys and girls, that's the end. These villages are free from the clasp of the villagers. All thanks to you. Yep, all thanks to me. So, we get our goodies. A tasty bone. So, I already had a tasty bone down here. But the one I've just gotten is a, is a level 5 one. So, uh, yes, obviously I'm going to get it. So now I can just salvage stuff. Which gives me uh, diamonds at the top left. Or emeralds. Uh, I think they actually are. Oh, that's actually because of my current bow. So, I'll do it's en oh, I can't do it. It's enchant because I haven't uh, de that one yet. So, um. No, it's just a lobby chest. <laughs> so now we've got a blacksmith. Uh, now I can do that. Yep, good. Um, so this guy is the, as far as I know at the moment, the only thing to actually spend emeralds on. So let's do it, and you can get uh, literally random gear. So uh, spend it freely. So what's this given us? It's uh, we've got a level four armor, uh, artifact cooldown, move speed aura, uh, eight health, weapon boost, and health potions heal allies. I don't have any allies. So let's just do that. Uh, that's a weaker weapon. That's also a weaker weapon. So let's just salvage all that. And it it, it definitely does get to the point where you're um where the items um, that you get, you don't even get a chance to really use it before um, before it gets out, out geared, so to speak. So this is the one I unlocked via way of that, that thing I before. But we'll uh, go to uh, the swamp instead. So it's telling me that it recommends bow level 4, and 1 is 4, so good to go. So the power level is, um, which is a song, is quite simply, your, um, the average of all your gear together. Simple, really. So I, I often play ARPGs with my map showing because well it's generally easier to know where you're gonna go these mi uh, mini zombies can go die in a fire though Yeah. Um, 
the, the gear is the most important thing. Um, and I, I think that that's kind of a good thing. A good, it's both good and bad at the same time. Confusing. Like you get a lot of ARPGs where your where your class is very very heavily uh, limited based on what gear you get. I.e. if you don't get the bow of blah blah blah, then forget about being a ranger. But um, in this, um, your gameplay style can change between gear, which in a typical manner can dramatically like if you don't like that playstyle then well guess what you should have luck do I know where I'm going? no I don't I live nearly I think I should be going towards the yellow dots on the map She's a strong one. Jim, 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 Jim. Find the culture. I think something opened. So, yeah, this is open, we can give me new one. So, uh, how do I judge this game? It's, I, to be honest, I don't really know. It, it's still too early to tell. Um, it's got some potential, it really does. But how that potential comes out in the end is, is a real question. It could be just... Like, it could get to the point where it's like, um, okay, I'm really happy with my build, but now the gear level is just too low, so I, I, I just can't maintain having that, that build, which would be really unfortunate. Because that's what happened with, with Death Metal the other night. I was on, I think, gear level 22, and he was still only on 16, because... Well, in his case, it was just bad luck. He didn't get any high-level drops. Whereas I was getting high-level drops for where, where I had low-level pieces. Um, was that RNG or was that something else? I don't know. But yeah. Um, ARPG is always going to have quite a heavy RNG component. No, I like you can do about it. Wait this way. Oh, Enderman. So you get um. Oh, gotta get the uh, piggy chest. Um, you'll occasionally get little champion fights. In this case, Enderman. Look at catch. Ah, so we're still looking for the cauldron. Dodging little shits. The other thing that I don't like, um, it it could rock up eventually. You can't uh, share items, so I can't give an ally an item or not, which is kind of sucky because it means that if um, if I'm playing with someone and, and and they like melee builds and I like ranged builds. Um, and I get a nice sword, I can't give it to them. And 
stats with uh, arrows as well. I had an amazing bow, which um, every time you fired, the attack speed got faster. Um, but I was plowing through arrows, but I couldn't buy them. I couldn't um, get them off death metal. So you're like, okay, well, suddenly red arrow is oh, bad luck. And then the biggest strength of your build is now gone. So I'd like to see that changed. I am conscious, of course, that um, younger players, um, the concept of uh, trading gear and stuff may not be uh, as clear to uh, normal players. Um, now, there's an alarm going off and I don't even know where it's coming from. I don't know how to get that chest started. So yes, my recording has been interrupted by a billion things today, and that's uh, part of the course with Pommel Gaming. Hooray! I don't want to finish this level for you guys. And, uh, yeah. We're going to find this damn cauldron. Little green shits. Just realised there's an arrow on the screen. How long has that been there for? Okay, good. I am going in the right direction. I picked up a hunting bow. Okay, I've got to see where that rack is. Kittles bought some alarm clocks recently, and Muppet likes to play with them. Mm -hmm. To the point where um, she set all these alarms and we don't know where they are. So we've got to find alarm clocks all over the bloody place. I am not feeling very healthy right now. Now the good thing is, if I do die, the lack of health that he's currently on remains. If I can get it from him, no, I can't. So many slimes! <laughs> that fuse shot is nice to get out. Oh no! So as you can see, I've respawned here, which is lovely. I think my dog just died. Not through this way I can't. 
I'm a dog. Get him! See how um, I'll be absolutely screwed without range right now. So that's a great example of um, what happened. Um, so I, I had I had the bow. The and suddenly, no it's um, a long time before the witches recover. I weren't able, I wasn't able to uh, to use well the bow done. anymore, and uh, yeah, I was restricted to melee, which means getting in their range, and it was just absolute chaos. But yeah, so good game, yes. Uh, longevity, don't know. Um, time will tell, I guess. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.